Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin if you happen to be new. Today it's all about my dining room hut. As you can see behind me, I still have all my lemon decor out and it's still pretty much decorated for summer. So I'm going to get everything off, get it wiped down, and let's start transitioning from late summer to early fall by getting our hedge decorated. So if you hear any squeaking going on in the background, I've got my grand dog today, Max, and he is chewing on his squeaky toy. So bear with me. But anyway, guys, uh, if you've got a hutch or any shelves in your kitchen or dining room that you need decorated for fall, hopefully I'll give you some type of inspiration today in today's video. So let's get busy getting everything off, getting it wiped down, and get it decorated for fall. Okay, so here's just a quick look of my hutch here in the dining room and how I had it decorated for summer. I truly enjoy this hutch. It's not very old. I got it right after Thanksgiving last year, so it's almost a year old. But it's right here as you walk in the front door, so I love keeping it decorated for the different seasons. So I'm going to work on mainly today, just taking everything off, getting it good and wiped down. It gets pretty dusty here being right here by the front door. So I'll take everything off and get it dusted down or get it wiped down first, and then we'll work on getting things decorated for fall. Okay, here's the tub I've been using. I started to, I started taking down last week everything out of my kitchen when it comes to summer and putting it into this tub. So we are just going to continue to take things down and use this as my summer tub before I go put it outside in the shed. The first thing I'm going to do is, get, is take down all of my plastic lemons and limes and get them into this bag and get them into the tub. And then we'll take some tissue paper and start wrapping up the things that are breakable and getting them into the tub also. Okay, now that everything is off the hutch, wrapped up and put away in the tub, let's take a second and get this hutch wiped off really well. I'm going to start with just using a dry rag just to kind of get all the cobwebs and all the dust off. i got to be honest, um, I do not clean this hutch or I didn't clean this hutch as much as I should have because it was so fully decorated for summer that I really just did not take the time to clean it. So there was lots of cobwebs and dust on this hutch. So I just found it easier to use my dry microfiber cloth first. And then you can't really tell, but I'm going to go back with a wet one after I've wiped all the dust off and then wipe it down once more. And then we'll get to adding our fall touches here to the hutch. Okay, I'm also going to take down my summer decor that's over here on this peg rail because I do like to decorate this when I decorate my hutch. So let's take the lemon decor down from here, the summer decor down, and also get this decorated. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my ivy out of this white pot and put it into this gorgeous 
textured uh, pot that I got from Target. I just love that terracotta look of this pot. So, so pretty. It has a little stand to put it in also. And there's a little smaller one that I got to match this that you'll see in just a second. Okay, so let's start with our bigger piece and let's add it first. If you watched my prior fall videos, you'll know that I'm trying to use this rust striped Keptel throughout my kitchen. I just love that deep burgundy rust color almost. And I'm also using pears to decorate with this fall season. So I'm gonna take this basket that is so, so cute that I had my lemons in. I'm gonna to try to drape it. I'm gonna to try to drape this tea towel over the basket and then add in the pears. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so my top shelf is now done. I do believe this terracotta pot makes such a great statement here on the top shelf. I'm just loving it. And this sweet little autumn sign that just says all things winter, like bonfires and apple cider and flannel shirts. It's so, so sweet. I just love the light wood frame that it has on it. And then this cute little two-tone pumpkin with a dark brown pumpkin there. And then those rust and burnt orange colors in it. Those are just my favorite colors. This sweet little basket with the pears and the matching tea towel that I've got throughout the kitchen. I, I think this top shelf just turned out great. It's very simple, but very sweet. Okay, so now for my second shelf. I started out by using this coffee mug holder. I love the light wood. I think it works really well off the light wood on that sign up there. And I'm just displaying my favorite little cream pictures that I love to collect. And um, the only thing is, the only thing bad about this hedge is there's not much height between here and here. So I was really hoping this would fit underneath here, but it doesn't. Even there's a lip here, but even when I try to put things under there, there's just not much room there. So I just kind of, pushed it back as much as I could, but I really wanted to use this little coffee holder for my tea, for my little sweet little creamers. So that's what I started off with. And then this little, I just put, as you saw, one of these little cement pots. I've used, I have used two more of those in my kitchen. I got those off of Amazon, and I just stuck it in this really pretty terracotta pot. And I just used one of my Magnolia cookbooks. And these sweet little, sorry, Max is walking around, if you can hear those toenails. 
And then these sweet little salt and pepper shakers that came from Hobby Lobby, they're little acorns. They are so, so cute. And then this is the little terracotta pot that I was talking about that matches the big one. I think it's just precious. So I just put one of my little airplane plants in here and I think it looks really good. And then next are these sweet little mini bowls that I got from the Harp and Hand Collection at Target. I just love this dark brown. And I know I was gonna try to do a lot of dark brown here in my dining room on the hutch, so these were just perfect. So, so pretty. And then from TJ Maxx, I found this beautiful wood tone pumpkin. It is just gorgeous. It is just full of all different colors, and I think it's gonna look really great here on the hutch. Because as, as you can see, I'm really trying to go with a lot of neutrals here on this hutch, and I thought this was just perfect to kind of sneak in a pumpkin. If you saw my last week's video, I showed you where I could also sneak in this pumpkin on my dining room table. But I just love all these wood tones that are going on. So this, these two shelves are now complete. Now let's work on our last shelf. And for my third shelf, I kept it very, very simple. That tray I've had for some time now. I used another one of those rust tea towels. This brown pitcher I picked up from a thrift store. It is so gorgeous. I just put some wheat stems in there and then added some more pears. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add in my cookbooks and some of my cutting boards, the slots that are right there. Okay, and just like that, guys, it's done. If you've noticed, I just kept it very, very simple. I'll add some pum some more pumpkins probably later, but I just wanted to have a very neutral and simple hutch since you saw that my summer hutch was so, so busy. I had so much on my summer hutch. I just really wanted to keep it very simple right here. I'm loving all the wood tones, the terracotta, the white, and the cream colors. I think it looks so, so pretty. And the dark browns, I think it just make this hutch. So now let's add some fall over here to our pig board.
I've mentioned this little stool before. I got this from Trade Days from my friend Charlotte. I love the way it's beat up and it's aged, but I've also thought about maybe doing that oven cleaner on here and making that a more natural wood. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Okay, so all I've done here is use just an autumn little wreath. Florals here, that deep burgundy color is just so beautiful. So just a few of those stems there in that little basket. One of my dark wood cutting boards to kind of go along with the, what's on the hutch. Another one of those tea towels. And just very simple, but I just love the colors here. In here, I've just used a Target dollar spot uh, pillow. I love the pine cones and the autumn look on there also. I love those deep purples, rust, oranges. I just love decorating this little area right here. It's really just one of my favorites. I just wanted to show y'all a sneak peek who all was under my feet when I was decorating today. We've got Ziggy and we have Max today. So I had quite a full house when I was trying to get this kitchen hedge decorated. Okay friends, that's all I have for you today. I sure hope you enjoyed watching me decorate my hutch, very simply decorating my hutch, I should say. I still have my open shelving and my coffee bar to decorate here in the kitchen dining room area, and those will be pretty busy, so I just felt the need to keep my hutch very simple for fall right now. I'll eventually add some more pumpkins here on the hutch, but for right now, I just felt the need to keep it very, very simple, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's very simple compared to the other hutch decorating videos that are going out now. My friend Angie at the Bumblebee Farmhouse has a beautiful hutch video if you want to go watch that. She does a fabulous job. But if you, if you happen to be new today, please be sure to go to my comment section and leave me your name, maybe where you're from. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're one of my wonderful returning subscribers, hello, I see you, I hear you, I feel all the love that you give me, and I greatly appreciate you so, so much. Okay, friends, that's all I have today, like I said, and I will see you next week. Bye.